What's good, YouTube? It's your boy K Flex, and I'm back here with a, another video. And today we're gonna I'm gonna grade the D Miami Dolphins free agency so far, and we're gonna talk about Ty Gurley. Now, I wasn't gonna make a video today. No news really happened today. I think oh uh, oh we resigned Adrian Colbert, but no other than that, no news really happened today. So I wasn't gonna make a video, but you know I, I read a comment. And the guy said, you know, you owe us these videos because you missed a whole month. Because I was like, I'm making a lot of videos. And the guy said, my boy Crispy said, you owe us these videos. You missed a whole month. And I said, you know what? You're right. You're right. So I cannot take today off, right? I owe y'all these videos for taking all that time off. Now, I don't know how often I can keep doing this because, well, I don't know how often news is going to happen. Or we're going to have things to talk about. But, yes, I owe y'all these, all right? So real quick, man, hit that like. Hit that subscribe if you're new. Let's get into the dolphin. Let me call this meme right quick. Right, right quick. It, let's get to the video, okay? <clears throat> so just right in the Miami Dolphins signings, right? Right in the Miami Dolphins draft. I right? do I give us an A, B, C, D, or F? Now, when I look at a free agency, I think about what I would have done differently. Because it's my opinion, really, of what I think how we did. I look at what I would have done differently, and to tell you the truth, I wouldn't have done anything differently. All right? This is the first free agency, I think, ever that I really liked everything that we did. Honestly, it was nothing that we did that upset me, even slightly. In every other free agency, something has upset me. And the biggest issues I've always had with free agency in the Miami Dolphins, and we always signed all people or people that was already past their prime, that was the biggest thing to me of why I did not like, I always was mad free agency, and they used to call me a negative fan because I hated every signing damn near. Because we kept signing old players. We signing young players. This makes me happy. We signed Byron Jones, Kyle Van Noy, Shaq Lawson, Eric Flowers, Emmanuel Ogba, nobody over 30. You know, none of them players are over 30. I think Fitzpatrick might be our only player over 30 on the whole roster. Kyle Van Noy is the oldest out of all those. I don't know if he's 28 turning 29 or 27 turning 28. But he's one of those ages, still pretty young, you know what I'm saying? So, none of this, like, I never really got was the type to get super mad over the amount of money the Dolphins paid a player, a particular player. I was just used to be angry because of, like, the ages we used to. We used to pay, like, 30-year-olds, like, 35-year-olds, uh, max, con like, that the type of stuff that made me mad. So, listen, if you ask me what is the grade of the Dolphins' free agency so far, I would say A. I would say A because I'm looking at it and I'm looking like, what would I have done differently? What could we have done differently? The only thing you can really say is we could have paid Jack Conklin record-breaking money. That's about it because we need a tackle. So if we could have paid Jack Conklin instead of Byron Jones, that's something we could have did. Other than that, though, and there's nothing else we really, I feel like we could have did differently when I look at the rest of the talent in the free agency. I don't even think it was that much talent in free agency to begin with. And we got um, everybody we needed, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, a lot of us didn't even expect to even, I think we're all kind of like happy because a lot of us did not expect us to even get a guy like Byron Jones. I thought we was going to get like James Bradbury, maybe Trey Waynes. Not to say they were bad corners, but they're not Byron Jones. I, I did not know we were going to get Byron Jones. That was like the cherry on top. I would have thought we had a good free agency even with if we didn't get Byron Jones. We got the other four people that's on this list. I would say we got a good, we had a good free agency because we got a lot of potential. Byron Jones just added like, you know what I'm saying? It's just insane, all right? And it's really hard for me or anybody to say that this was a bad free agency because considering they, they all these players have potential. You know what I'm saying? None of these players have hit their peak. Well, maybe Kyle Van Noy is in his peak right now, and maybe uh, Byron Jones is in his peak. But like for the other three players, they not they have not hit their peak. And so it's hard for you to say. You know what I'm saying? Any of these players were bad from an optimistic point of view. Obviously, if you want to be pessimistic, you could say all oh, these players might suck. But from an optimistic point of view, it's hard for you to say any of these players are bad because they all have a lot of potential. Now, I would be lying if I said I was the most excited when we signed Eric Flowers. I wasn't because last I remembered, he was an embarrassment to the NFL. Now, that was last I remembered. But he moved to guard. My Twitter told me it was about 10 people. Flex, he's way better at guard. Flex, he's way better at guard. So, listen. This will be the last time I listen to y'all on Twitter if Eric Flowers sucks. So I'm really happy for the Eric Flowers. I'm really happy with the Eric Flowers signing, but that's because of you Twitter folks. And I could watch the film because, like I said, NFL Game Pass is free. 
for the next couple months. I could watch the film on Eric Flowers and figure out if he's good for myself, but I'm not sitting through Redskin games. It's just not gonna happen, Bruh. okay? So I'd rather just take y'all word for it rather than torture myself and watch the Redskins play football. So yeah, my gray out of drive, man, I'm grading off just potential, off of the players, off of the ages, and off of the, I don't really judge off the money, but I do judge off the money a little bit off the contracts that we signed. And this don't even have career. What's the dude's name? Oh my God, I forgot his name already. Y'all gotta come me some slack. We didn't even have him 24 hours. What's the center name? I forgot his name and start with a K. Karras. Karras. This don't even have Karras on it. Or don't even have uh, the linebacker we signed. Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. I, I don't really don't remember these people's names, y'all. I got, bro, I don't know if y'all can tell by how fast I talk. A million things run through my mind every second. I just be forgetting stuff, forgetting stuff. I know his first name is Landon, a Landon, a Landon something, Robert. Yeah, this don't even have them on it. And we still got the most draft picks. It's a W draft. The only thing we didn't get is a tackle and we can get that in the draft. But uh, yeah, I, I'll rate this an A. All right, now getting into the next topic of the day and this shouldn't take that long. Should the Dolphins sign Ty Gurley? Ty Gurley just got released. I, w I wouldn't really even talk about this, but he's number one trending in the world right now. So why not? You know, let's talk about him. Should the Dolphins try to get him? Now, we got Jordan Howard, but Jordan Howard's not going to be a every down back, right? We get another back. Ty Gurley can catch, right? But honestly, I don't want Ty Gurley, all right? I know he got name value. I know he sounds good. Actually, let me, let me put this in. I don't want Ty Gurley for probably the amount of money he wants because... I'll tell you why. NFL Game Pass is free. Watch the Rams games a lot. But if you watch the Rams play, right, he split carries. Every time Ty Gurley runs the ball for over 10 yards or over 7 yards and he gets tackled, watch him stand up. Do he not look hurt after every time he stands up? I swear. And I love Ty Gurley in college, even though I knew he had the injury concerns. I loved him in the NFL. I was happy he was doing well. And I hate to even speak this into existence, but I think Ty Gurley's career is going to come to an end fast, right? I think he's going to be one of those people that retire way too soon. He's like the best running back in the league in his prom, but he only got like a year to be in his prom. Ajayi, same situation with Ajayi. Ajayi was never on the level that Ty Gurley was at, but you knew, like, it was kind of like his knee was a ticking time bomb. And I feel like it's the same with Ty Gurley, but to a worse degree because Ty Gurley is obviously a better player. Um... I don't think Ty Gurley's knee is there, honestly. I hope not. I hope, I hope I'm wrong, but I, I really wouldn't want him on the Dolphins for any kind of decent money because I don't I don't think his knee's there, bro. If you look at what the and and I, I look at what the Rams, it's costing the Rams to get rid of him. They obviously signed him to a big contract. Once he started to decline, they started to decline as a team. They are losing $20 million for releasing him. That is the second most in NFL history. It's a, I don't know who the first is, but this is the biggest dead, dead cap hit that a team has really taken in a while, right? It's only one more that's bigger than this. I don't know. I don't, like I said, I don't know which one. They, they would know him better than everybody else, right? Every, every other team. If they are willing to take a $20 million dead cap hit to get rid of Gurley, that tell me what I need to know. All right now, I can see if he has some arrest or something. Uh, I, I, it's nothing else. Like Gurley is a nice, uh, seems like a fine gentleman. I don't, I don't know about no arrest. I don't know about him doing drugs. I don't know about him doing nothing illegal. I don't know about you know what I'm saying him ever doing anything bad uh, morally. But I do know about a chronic knee problem that he's had. And if a team is willing to take a twenty million dollar loss to get rid of you, to get get off your contract. I think you might be, I, I think it might be serious, but girly, bro. I think it might be too serious. But, and it's so serious that I wouldn't want to take the risk with the Dolphins. But, that's why I say, for the right price, though, anybody can get signed. You know what I'm saying? I already don't count pockets like that, but for the right price, anybody can get signed. If Gurley wants to join the Howard contract, we're good. Because why not? Because on the off chance that I am wrong, we got Gurley for cheap. I don't think he's going to go for cheap, though. And I don't think I'm wrong. But... I never say never. I wouldn't be angry if we signed Gurley right now for you know the low, 
But I definitely wouldn't pay him the bag because watch the Rams play, bro. I don't think his leg is. I, I think his knees is actually is actually seriously messed up. Um, and he's only 25, so he's young too. It, it, if he was actually fully healthy, bro, he would be a monster for the team. But I, check his check his check his check the game, and y'all let me know what y'all see. Um, I just went to Josina Anderson's Twitter to show y'all something, and Sean Payton just tested positive for coronavirus. Oh, bro, that's, I don't. I haven't been leaving the house. That stuff spreads so crazy. Anyways, I was going to Josina Anderson's <clears throat> profile to show y'all this, where she says, "My understanding is among two of T Todd Gurley's desirable destinations recently has been Atlanta and Miami." Per source, though the Dolphins just bought in Jordan Howard, however. We'll see now how other potential options open up for Gurley or how the market reacts. So, they said his desirable destinations are Falcons in Miami. Listen, I don't know who it's desired for. Is it a desire for us or a desire for them? If, if, if it's a desire for us or is it a desire for him? Because if it's a desire for him, if he wants to take a pay cut, I, I wouldn't necessarily t mind taking the risk. You feel me? I wouldn't mind it. And if he's really good, if he's Ty Gurley, Ty Gurley, we straight. But if he's not, you can't sign up to that big contract. And I honestly, I don't really don't like his leg. But anyways, get in the comments and let me know what you guys rate the draft, rate the free agency so far. Let me know if you guys want Todd Gurley. Like, comment, subscribe. Roll to Nike and Wish Bucket Flexing. I'm out.